Welcome back everyone! Uh, start of 2023! Oh my god, we're all rusty. None of us can turn. Um, we come to Lorden. Oh, I still managed to do some pivots. Well, little pivots. We usually um, come to Lorden for the uh, inaugural ride of the year. And um, this year has been no different. Uh, finally the trails have opened. It seems pretty dry. The weather was actually perfect. And I'm here with some great fellas. Uh, we got like... Steve, Stephen, uh, Lucas, Chris, and Paul. Paul's fixed up his bike, got some new decals on it. Looks, looks pretty, pretty mint. And uh, Stephen's uh, changed all the decals on his as well. So yeah, see what I can remember. How, see if I can remember how to ride. I can't. Uh, <laughs> this log section's looking a little bit worse for wear, but hey, it's, it's, it's mostly lasted the winter and um, a bit of fun trying to like balance and do along some of these like little things uh along the little like balance things and i want to get some jumps bit, bit of fun get a bit of air <laughs> i'm a bit gutted that um over the winter a lot of things have happened Hi. uh in good news i managed to buy a house hooray my wife and i uh we bought a place and i have the most expensive dirt bike attachment now so i've got a garage um, but in terrible news, I didn't get to do the Beagle Bash because the uh, car that I used to tow has basically rotten away. It's like 22 years old. It's, it's, it's a bit sad. Um, I was hoping it would last another year so that we can get ourselves financially stable and then I could look at getting another vehicle. But uh, my wife said that we can, I, can, I can hitch up to the Kia and use that to tow because it's actually better to tow than the RAV anyway. Um, but this week, Lucas was generous enough to come all the way down and pick me up because right, right this moment, I don't have the car to, uh, hitched up. I mean, I, I do have it now done, but not at the time of this video. So anyways, uh, yeah, I wasn't able to make the Beagle Bash, so I was a bit gutted about that, but never mind. Um, hopefully I should make it out to the, uh, the Gopher Dunes. I'll be on the Sunday though, not the Saturday, because uh, I land back in Canada on Friday night, so I don't particularly want to be extremely jet lagged going out to a race Saturday morning so that could be a recipe for getting hurt oh still a lot of water here let's let's look at this technique coming through oh my god how you going Steve <laughs> oh he made it and he got pull through it and um, that's not his fault we don't know what's happening. His bike stalled a few times. Wonder if it's running out of fuel. Uh, it's on reserve. It could just be almost empty. That's a that's a problem for us to figure out at another time. So uh, yeah, yeah. We I don't know. I tried to drop the bollard on the right as well. This is my one attempt. <laughs> that really actually hurt my knee quite badly. Um, which affected my riding pretty bad all day. Uh, but whatever. First ride, of course we're going to get hurt. Well, that wasn't going to work. <laughs> so, yeah, back to uh, my seasonal goals this year. I want to, I really want to work on, like, my turning. I, I, I felt like, I felt fine uh, riding today. Um, I wasn't sore or anything the next day, uh, apart from my knee, but that's just like a stupid crash. That's not anything to do with like um, just being out, out unfit. Uh, but I mean, being unfit doesn't help my, my riding. I, I need to work on my cardio. I keep saying this and I've been trying to do some cardio over the winter, but with the moving of house and stuff like that, it kind of fell to the wayside and I haven't, I haven't bothered to uh, do it in the last couple of months. So, I mean, I jog to the gym and back, but that's not really much. It's like jog, jog a kilometer each way, right? Uh, sorry, one and a half kilometers each way. That's, that's almost nothing. Uh, so, and I only go a couple of times a week, two or three times a week, um, just because it's been so busy. Um, yeah, so I need to work on my cardio, and oh my god, I, 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 you can see I'm rusty. I can't even turn properly. I'm running off the off the trail. Um, I definitely need to get back on the practice. I also uh, kept doing this a couple of times. So that's why I was like, why is my red brake not working? Well, I thought it wasn't anyway. So uh, this 
happened quite a few times, and so did this. Like, what am I doing? I'm so bad at riding. I can't ride. Um, this winter I went over, did all my bearings. Uh, a few of them had rusted through. I, I can't think why. And then perhaps, you know, being stuck in the bloody uh, swamps and stuff. Um, bled all my brakes, bled the, bled the clutch. Um, what else did I do this winter? Oh, I got the suspension serviced. Oh. <laughs> and there you go, I looked down and I noticed that I had moved my foot backwards to that point. And I, my foot was not even like over the brake pedal. I was just pushing into the air and being and wondering why I couldn't slow down. So that's how rusty I am. I'm so rusty I don't know where my brake pedal is anymore. Although having said that, I'm actually sitting a little further forward on some of these bits uh, to try and hit corners a little bit more aggressively. So I think just being out of practice and being more forward than usual <laughs> just made me miss my brakes. And that's why my rear brake doesn't work because if you don't push the pedal, nothing's gonna happen. Shocking, I know. So yeah, anyway, uh, blah, blah, brakes, uh, clean the carb. I got my fork serviced. It was just an oil, I didn't, sorry, I didn't like take it to Langs because uh, like, if I wanted to have it rebound, I'd definitely take it to Langs, but just changing the oil is just not a big deal. Um, what else did I do? Oh, checked all my bearings, replaced the ones that were broken. God, that was a nightmare. There was some that were like pretty rusted. Um, that was a whole ordeal. I needed to get like a blind bearing puller and as I pulled uh, through, because one of them, some of the bearings were so rusted, they literally just exploded. So the lip that was holding them in just completely fell apart. So uh, it took uh, a while before I was able to get those out properly. Just frustrating. But I, I did it all eventually. So all my bearings are greased and repacked and, uh, and all the seals changed. What else I do? Uh... Oh, uh, yeah, I, um, I sewed my seat back together because it had ripped quite a few times in quite a few places. Uh, I just used some fishing uh, line and one of Lily's um, book binding needles which is curved so I could just sew, sew it back together and it lasted the, it lasted the day, it looks good. Well, it looked good quote unquote, but I mean it'll, it'll last for now. Um, what else? Oh, I also put, I uh, actually attached the number brake properly so that when I do um, the, like XEs and stuff, it won't fall off. And yeah, I, when I'm riding around, I don't hear it like rattling around. I also changed the chain and sprocket and put new brake pads on. So I actually did quite a bit. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with the sprocket. It was rubbing when I had it quite short, uh, like the, on the shortest part. So I had to like set it further back in the, you know, the, the, the bit where it's, where you choose the length of your chain, um, put it all the way back seems fine now it doesn't rub uh so okay sure fine whatever I, for some reason when i was putting it together like i don't i don't really get why it was just it was rubbing up it was rubbing badly um and then when i moved it back took it apart put it back together again the second time it was perfectly fine so i don't know though. maybe i just didn't bang something through properly I, i'm not a mechanic so i get a little confused by this stuff sometimes i'm, I'm just a dumbass i was also looking at like um cool little trucks we saw i saw a hot, uh, ford maverick in the uh in the car park i thought that was really really neat and it actually looking it up it has like really good uh miles per gallon on the hybrid model but i'm not sure how useful that would be because the hybrid obviously is really good when you're in the city but when i come to the trails i do at best like five percent it's almost entirely highway the whole way um and the, i think the hybrid only engine only works under like 30 kilometers per hour so like uh it's not such not such use that hybrid side of things and I wouldn't really use it to go around town because it's still a truck at the end of the day and I don't really want to drive around town at all if I can avoid it so that's that so I don't know I got to replace the in-laws car first the, the RAV that that's has basically died because it's just rusted apart and like they'll need something more urgently than I need something so yeah that's the first priority and then yeah, I'll get then I'll and then I'll consider something further for myself further down the line. But something like that might be cool, like a really small fuel efficient car uh, truck doesn't doesn't need to have like a ten thousand pound towing capacity because I, I don't really care about trailers and stuff like that. I just want to pull my bike to the trails and just go riding. That's what I like to do. I like to ride. Now we get to ride again, which is great. <laughs> yes. So I'm just. Getting, towards, getting back towards the car park now, and yeah, all in all, this was a, a fantastic day. Nothing nothing dramatic happened, Paul didn't hit another tree, didn't smash his bike to pieces again. 
I'm surprised he was able to come out. Congratulations to him. He's just had a new. He's just had his first kid. So mega congrats to Paul. So that that is that is an achievement. <laughs> Don't know what else to say. Anyway, yeah. See ya.